Hello, welcome back to Court Above the Cut. So I'm on the Hereford and Gloucester Canal. Uh, we're near a place called Malswick, where there's some work been going on down here. We're on the uh, line now, which is obviously abandoned. This uh, section has been many things in its time. Uh, it was also the uh, Lebury Railway. But where we are right now, uh, the embankment is possibly just behind us there from the old railway. This is kind of, this is owned by the Trust and ready to go. And we'll be stood roughly where the lock's gonna be now. So the old line used to run straight down through there, uh, but because of road levels and stuff like that, they're, they're having to drop down with a new lock here under the road there. This is all subject to, to planning. So the trusts have about a kilometre of land here. Some of it they've got planning on some, they're still sort of going through the processes of doing the documents and stuff. The, uh, they've got a section a bit further up, which we're here to see, which is about 600 yards, which is in various stages of uh, filling. So coming from the lock down there, which would have gone under the road, you follow the B4215 and it runs kind of along the edge here. The, the railway again followed this same line. So most of the railway was built on top of the old uh, canal line. The, the, the railway company purchased the canal. Uh, it wasn't very profitable and, uh, and struggled. So uh, they, they just used the line. So a lot of this uh, line is lost, unfortunately, but it, you know, they, they're making aim to restore it now. So as part of this work happening here, they, there's a footpath just behind us somewhere that needs to cross the canal. So they've got their uh, swing bridge already here, ready to go. Just needs to obviously be uh, built in and stuff. A little bit of work onto it, but uh, it's, it's, in, it's in pretty good condition. This came from uh, one of the canals, Somerset Way. I'm not sure which one, but the next job for them is to sort of strip it down, clean it, and then, then rebuild it. So the canal itself was passed by uh, an Act of Parliament in uh, 1791, uh, and was completed in, well, the first section was completed in 1798. The uh, initial engineer on the product was Josiah Clowes, uh, who was also involved in the Shrewsbury Newport. He died in, I think it was 1795. So he never completed the product, uh, the project. The first stage was eventually com uh, completed by Robert Whitworth who uh, worked on uh, the Thames and Seven. Uh, his sons also became engineers as well uh, and did various other canals in the area. So the planning uh, it comes to here at the moment they've got. They've got about 600 yards in water just ahead and about another 400 yards here to do, as well as a small section towards the football club. As you'll see in a second, uh, they've, they've got a bunded section in the middle and uh, they're kind of testing that it's holding water. So this is going to be new. This is the old line here, but further up ahead is going to be new cut. Well, it is new cut. The, the reason being the old canal line ran on an embankment and it was a bit difficult with houses and stuff to, to, to get a line through. So they they came to some agreements with the farmer uh, in about 2017, built some bridges and stuff for him so he had access to his land and uh, now they've, they've started digging. So they started digging around two years ago, November 2021. Uh, there were culverts and stuff to be done first uh, and then lines been dug sort of uh, more recently. It's very good progress for canal restoration, especially with the fact that there's new digs with culverts and stuff like that. So heading over from Molswick East, we go to Molswick West and we have canal. So this is a new dig, as I said before, the old line would have run a bit further across here. So they've dug down, they've got uh, clay soil here already. So they're kind of just testing it to see whether it'll hold water. The, the hope is it will. They, they, they may have a small section here. They found some uh, drainage bits and pieces when, when they were when they were digging it out uh, so they, they need to have another look here because the water level has dropped in this section but it shouldn't be a major job to sort it out this is actually the second section water was only added a few weeks ago so they've still got some more testing and, uh, to do to, to find out what, what the, where the water is going so there's lots of plans for this to be a nature site we've got we've got dragonflies butterflies damsels all, all flying around here at the moment which is considering how new this is is quite a testament of what it can do once this is all grown up you know you know there's planting done here hedgerow uh, natural grasses and stuff as, as well as trees and, and stuff like that it's going to be fantastic down here so, so it'll be a community asset at that point you know people can come down here and, and use it uh, it's probably a couple of years away from that point at the moment. So the first stage of this canal was opened to about a mile south of Ledbury. It was planned to go further, but the, the costs went well over. The, the original costings were estimated at about 70000 but in fact it cost 104000 mainly due to the tunnel uh, they had to build. The Oxen Hall Tunnel is about 1.2 miles, uh, 2,100 yards, had about 20 shafts and uh, it would cost significantly more than what they're expecting. So they, they finished the canal originally, like I said, a mile south of Ledbury, and then the second phase happened much later on. So we're just coming up now to uh, the small culvert, 
which runs along, you can see a hedge line going across there, uh, runs under the canal here where you can see a slightly raised section and then down through to that. That, that was completed by volunteers and was one of the first jobs to be done on this section. The canal originally ca carried coal from the branch near Newent, but the coal wasn't very good basically and the, the price that they got and the price they were expecting was about half. So it made the put strains on the canal almost immediately for finances. So they pushed through for a second phase, uh, which they were hoping was going to help revive the canal and, and give give more uh, area to take goods from. So in 1827, Stephen Ballard became the new clerk of the company. And in 1838, he proposed a route which became an act of parliament a, a year later. And again, the costs were much higher than, than expected. The original estimate was about 53,000 and cost about 141,000. It did increase traffic on the canal, but by this point, a lot of that was due to the railway construction in other areas carrying goods for there. But in 1862, uh, with just 17 years later, the, uh, the canal was leased to the Great Western and Midland Railway, but in 1881, half of the canal was was built upon for the Lebring Gloucester Railway. Then we go on to the, the the first part of this canal. This is a bit shorter than the, the second section we've just seen, but as you can see, it's full and uh, seems to be holding water well. They got to wait for the weather to stabilise a little bit because of all the rain and stuff. Uh, it's hard to work out sort of what's happening here. But uh, it, it looks good. It looks like it's holding and they're not pumping any water into it now. Basically, they do tests and they work out evaporation and stuff like that and where the level should be and that will tell them if it's uh, leaking or not. So I said this 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 isn't clay lined, it's completely natural. Uh, it's into a clay soil, which, me which means it's slightly cheaper to build and it's more natural as well. So the old railway line, as I said, followed a different route. So it follows this tree line across on the houses. And then uh, you can see the tree line going across the embankment there, which runs towards the football pitches. Now, the trust do have the land up to the football pitches, but there's no agreement at this stage of how they're going to get through where, where the football pitches are. Those discussions will happen at later date. They, they got the land at roughly the same time, but uh, there's, there's no firm agreements in place at the moment. You can see the mud piles here. This is what's been dug out of here. And they use that for topsoil for sort of making good here. There will be a towpath built across here at some point as well. Uh, that's uh, probably later this year, maybe a bit further on. The canal itself ran from Uver, uh, which is on the River Severn near Gloucester, and then ran all the way up through uh, to, to Hereford. There's there's three tunnels on it in total, the one we just discussed. There's also a, a slightly smaller tunnel and a third tunnel up in Hereford, which has, I think, been largely built on. Paul and Rebecca Whitewick have done quite a good video on those. Uh, I'll, I'll try and link it in the description for you if you want to have a look. They've got some interesting plans, though. One of their plans that I was just discussing uh, with the chairman was uh, is for Newent Station, so they, they they own the station and they want to run the canal through it. But the problem is, if they build build up to it, they've got to put some locks in because it's much higher. Uh, but the plan is to put some inclined planes in and run it through the middle of the station, which, which sounds well, it sounds pretty cool to be honest with you. As always, please click the uh, like and subscribe, click the bell button so you can see future videos. It's a big boost to me if you can do that. We also now have members as well. So there's a, a, a little join button underneath where you can uh, join up to several different uh, memberships. Uh, you get more videos on their drone videos and uh, on one level and the behind the scenes stuff on another level. So this section here is probably the next bit that's going to be done. It just goes up to the end here. Uh, you can see the sort of trees just up there. There's some white posts there which you probably can't see on this camera. Uh, this is quite a bit of work to build it up though. You can see the embankment height there. Uh, so this is a lot higher than the rest of the ground. But it is, uh, they have got planning for this little bit here as well. And then we've got the other culvert comes under here. Again, you can see like the trees and the, the stream runs through the middle there, uh, comes across to here. This was uh, done by Waterway Recoveries Group a few years back when, on the initial works here, so it's sort of 2017 time, and takes the stream under the railway embankment and road there, which would have been existing, and then across under here uh, through a new culvert. So this is what they call a big culvert. It's a much bigger pipe than the other one. So as with all canal trusts, they could definitely do with some more members. Links will be in the description as always. Please do sign up. They're doing great work here. They really need more volunteers. They've got a, they've got a smallish team, very, very dedicated and very hardworking team, but they could do with more work parties and more people as always, as well as some more leaders. Like I said about the, the railway project, the station, they need someone to lead that. And that could be a very, very interesting project for somebody. So please do get in contact with the, with the trust and see if you can help. Thanks for watching. Like I said, get in the, get in the description, click on those links, but uh, have a good day. <music>